The rollback lock is used as a moving off aid on uphill and downhill gradients. The brake pressure is maintained for one second after the brake pedal is released, so that the driver can move his foot to the accelerator. The vehicle drives off smoothly without rolling. The off-road anti-lock braking system, or off-road ABS for short, enables a wheel slip through temporary wheel locking at speeds between 40 and 15 km per hour. At speeds below 15 km per hour, the wheels are permanently locked. On loose ground, the locking wheels may form a braking wedge that transfers a higher braking effect. If only one wheel of the drive axle spins, the spinning wheel is braked to reduce the slip and the differential transmits the remaining drive torque to the wheel with more grip, thus preventing spinning. On vehicles with tandem axle assembly, a brake pressure is applied to the brake on the rear wheels on the inside of the curve as from a defined steering angle. This pressure is dependent on the steering angle and speed. This significantly reduces the curve radius on loose ground. The turning brake must be activated by the driver manually at the push of a button. The paver brake automatically maintains a preset brake pressure for the moving off and pushing operations of a road finisher. This prevents rolling away freely on downhill gradients. The pressure of the paver brake can be increased by the driver via the brake pedal. The functions provided by the electronic brake system of the fifth generation or EBS-5 for short, are safety-relevant innovations for off-road use. <laughs>